What's up guys, it's your boy Dorian here, back at it again with another review. So today I'll be talking about Marvel's Iron Man VR game, and this has been one of my most anticipated games of the year. If you see my impressions video, I absolutely loved what I got to play. I only got to play about 30 minutes of it, so getting to sit down and play, or not sit down, but getting to actually play the full game, it was amazing. And I'll, I'll keep it short because I don't like to talk a lot, you guys know that, but I'll talk about the gameplay, the virtual reality aspect of it, and the story itself, and then there won't be any spoilers, but then I'll talk about about my overall score and just get you guys out of here. All right, that sound good? Let's jump right into this review. So I got to play Marvel's Iron Man VR game a little bit early. Shout out to Sony for hooking me up with it. And overall, I was genuinely impressed with how I got to play as Iron Man. This game really makes you feel like you are a superhero. And I've said that before, but I, I truly mean it, especially getting to play multiple hours of it and just flying around in a suit. It never really got old, although the story, like you're fighting and you're flying a lot, and it might seem a little bit repetitive at times. But for me, just being immersed in that world never got tired. I ne it never got old because I think that's the, the biggest takeaway from this game is that it made me feel like Iron Man despite any glitches or anything I was seeing that all that got resolved but just the fact alone that I got to feel like Iron Man for that long it, it, it was special and I'll, I, I know it sounds corny whatever but we all imagine what we can be like as superheroes so getting to put that on getting to put a VR headset like essentially like it's a, its own mask and then the actual hub of Iron Man around you and having the voice it, it, it all was amazing to man and just from start to finish I, I was truly blown away and uh, I'll, I'll talk about the gameplay itself uh, but the virtual reality aspect of it it I was a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous at first just because I have a, the old school, the original PS4, and then the PSVR headset itself was made around 2016 or in 2016. So to come in and have to play a 2020 game on it, I was a little bit nervous, man. I was like, could my, could my process or handle all that? And it, and it held up pretty well. I didn't really see any bugs or any issues like that. It it worked just fine for what what the PSVR headset's capabilities can do. I think it just reached the its full capabilities and I'm excited to see what the next chapter in the VR headset world is, whether that be with the next console or the console after that. But I think it, it definitely utilized as much of the hardware as it could and it worked out fine. The only thing, other thing I was just worried about was having to turn, because uh, this game is you turning a lot, you're using a lot of your body and I was just worried about the, the PSVR cord itself getting wrapped up around me. But they do a good job of making sure you stay safe at all times and give you different alternative options if you don't want to necessarily turn all the way you can use your buttons to to turn some ways halfway or or just there you, you'll figure it out as you go along what what playing style suits you but those uh those concerns were quickly erased as soon as i got to to start playing as soon as i got to to be immersed in it i will say that to make sure you are hydrated and you take breaks because this is one of the more physically demanding vr games that i've ever played in my years of vr i say that like i've played a lot of vr which i have and we're we're developing some vr games at the moment here at collider games but just overall in general this is one of this has been one of the more physically demanding ones like i usually i'm a young guy i can i can play long hours i can do long durations of physical activity but with this one when it came to this i i did find myself having to take a little bit more breaks than i normally would when it came to vr because when you think about it you're flying around you have these move controllers you're 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 using your arms to push you upwards, flying, you're shooting blasters, all of that, while still turning a, a, a lot of different ways and turning your head up and down. So it, it's a little bit of emotion. You're, you're you're getting a workout in, but I don't want that to to scare anybody or detract anybody because it didn't it, it didn't like ha, like make me pass out or anything. It just it, I just want you to be aware of that because VR already has like the connotation and and people already do get motion sickness and sick from from just eat simpler VR games. So I just want to make sure you're warned ahead of time. And they, I think they do a good job of making sure you're, you're com there's a comfort level where, with wherever you're comfortable with your VR. So go into that with, just have that in mind if you were planning on getting this game. Besides that, the gameplay itself, I absolutely love for the most part. Yeah, there were some slight critiques I'll, I'll, I'll talk about in a second, but just in general, like I said earlier, getting to fly, that mechanic never really got old. It, it, although I bumped into walls a couple times and I'm not the best flyer, just getting to zoom around, man, that, that was awesome in itself. And you get to actually use the repulsors and there's a customization system to, to equip new weapons or upgrade your weapons. Although there, it wasn't the the biggest catalog, I think there will be updates and stuff like that to, to improve it. But I will 
say just in general, like getting to customize your own Iron Man suit from that to getting to actually shoot. So there are two main ways that you can actually shoot a blaster. There's a, the repulsors that you hold your hands up like this, not like this. Well, you, that's how Tony would hold his hands up, but you're using the move controls and you're holding them vertically and then you press the home button. And then when you're using your smart wrists or anything like that, you kind of have to bend your wrist and then use the same button. So that took a little bit of getting used to, but I, I once you get used to it, it it's smooth butter. So I want to say there's like 12 tractors, I believe. And then once you get to like four or five, you kind of get the all the controls down besides the repulsors and the other weapons like that you do have the punch you you are able to punch enemies and punch different things i found myself using that a lot less than the other weapons because when you're flying around when you're zooming around just in the air and you have uh, enemies coming at you at all different directions the last thing in your mind is you want to like punch something swinging midair i mean that's the last thing in my mind some of y'all maybe i want to throw hands maybe that's all you're going to do with iron man is just throw hands and, and swing that do all be it i praise you but for me in particular like when i'm flying around when i'm zooming around in the air and i see enemies especially if they're far away with blasters my first thought is to use the repulsor or use that there are like instances where i did find myself using uh finding effective ways to use a punch but it came along later in the game rather than me trying to uh, i don't know it just it took me a while longer to to utilize the punch in the ways i think they wanted it to besides that yeah it was a lot of you know blasting robots blasting uh, uh ai droids and things like that and that slightly got a little repetitive but at the end of the day come on now like we're we're in vr it's a short it's a shorter game so i'm not going to hold them to like some of the same using some of the same like robots and things like that uh and that kind of leads me into um, what i'm going to talk about with the story itself although this is not mcu canon or or anything like that you can definitely tell that it was mcu inspired and it was a kind of the the same not the same exact tony that we were familiar with in the movies but it took uh elements from that like uh his his backstory and it took just some of his mannerisms to to make it more familiar with us when we were playing as him because i, I think they'd assume that if you're going to play as iron man you probably either watched all of those movies or you're 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 a fan of the mcu itself so i think that they did a good job of doing that and the, although the story itself didn't like it wasn't a I want to say a home run for, on storytelling levels it was it still was a solid story for a Marvel game I guess but in general like you could see some of the, the story plots happening you could see where the story was going ahead of time and although that is a, a slight bummer it's not really a big deal especially for me going into it I just wanted to play as Iron Man although I wanted a good story my my heart my mind my thing was like just give me the suit let me fly around let me blast things if I can shoot things let me go into arcade mode or something like that. that's all I wanted from this game and that's what it delivers so although the the storyline itself fell short to the the gameplay I think it, it still was a solid story not the best not the worst the fact that give you one main critique and you probably seen it online already is the loading screens i'm not sure if it was because they had to it was a processing thing between levels or something but if, if i don't know how to explain it so a good example and without spoiling anything is just I'll, I'll talk about chapter one because i think you can see that gameplay online now is um when you are you're flying in a, pl a plane and the plane gets taken over or something like that and you have to jump out to get your suit like the suit falls out you have to jump out you know you you get a cool action sequence of here's the right hand here's the left hand here's the the chest piece and then when you get your face mask though you get your face mask and then it goes to gray or it goes to black for a, 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 a couple moments like a, a, a good enough chunk of time to where you are like frozen in suspense especially in that moment it kind of threw off the momentum because like i said you're jumping in mid-air you're in clouds you're in the sky like that so to abruptly be stopped in the middle of that and then go back into where you're okay you have the mask you're flying again i don't know what like if they're like i said again somebody let me know if this is a processing decision or something like that for the the technology aspect of it but had, i would have liked it to have been just a smooth transition from getting the face mask and then to going right into the action not a a wait a delay load and then go into the action and then after you finish a mission or if you finish a chapter you go back to a loading screen and then it has to load up so sometimes it can be really quick and then other times like I, I found myself waiting like a minute or two and if you're in vr if you're standing in vr i feel like that adds on time to you're you're adding on time that is is not needed to stand there like if i, I was standing there sometimes like 
this could be time I'm using to play rather than me standing in VR or just standing. Like within each chapter, there's like sub sub missions, sub chapters, I guess you want to call them or whatever. So you finish one part of it, you go back to the loading screen, you, then you go back into another part of it. I think that was just like the biggest critique I had of it, uh, despite anything that kind of just threw me off. And I, I hope they fix that in a future update or something like that, because it really throws you off sometimes that, like I said, can kill your momentum or it's just like you're sitting there waiting, uh, a, whether it be a short amount of time or decently like one to two minutes of like waiting for a loading screen in between each sub like section it's it, it the time can total up and so if you're already spending a lot of time in the game you're adding more I don't, I don't know I couldn't even give you an estimate of how much time but you're adding another extra amount of time that we don't need to be in there so if we could fix that that'd be great that's really my only critique uh my major critique if i should say that's really my only my major critique but overall i truly enjoyed this game if i had to give this a score it'd probably be an 8 out of 10 or 8.5 out of 10 if you want to go into this with just the feeling of you want to be iron man you want to blast things around then this is a game for you if you're on the fence about it just because you don't necessarily have a psvr headset or you're thinking about getting one then i would say if you have the financial means to do it get it and and see what you see see for yourself but i, I don't want to say like go get a psvr headset specifically for this game because we're in a global pandemic right now so you don't know people's finances and things like that so i completely understand but if you do have the means and you are interested in vr and specifically in this iron man game then i'd say give it a try but that's my review you can expect uh we're, i'm going to be doing a playthrough of each uh, every chapter on our youtube here so you can uh just make sure to turn on the notifications and you'll get notified i'm going to i already did chapter one and two so i'll do three and four and then what I'll be doing is just breaking them up and then next week once we finish all of that we'll probably sit down and do a spoiler filled review about it and just talk about everything that we got to play through well that's pretty much it for my review guys I hope you enjoyed it let me know have you played Iron Man VR yet do you plan on getting it let me know in the comments below and make sure to like subscribe I'll see you later for another video peace up a town down I did the the thing too early so that was kind of awkward but you know we'll leave it like that I'm not going to change the intro I'm not going to change the outro dad you can edit this out please